hey 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 welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how i make my best base for all soups and stews so this base is going to come in very handy if you have to make your sauces your stews your gravy and all your soups be it bolognese sauce pasta sauce or even lasagna sauce this is basically going to save your time so without wasting much time let's just get started so I'm going to be needing some fresh tomatoes and as you can see these tomatoes are so red and fresh from the garden. So I'll put it in a very large pan. Make sure you've washed them very well. I'll come in with a little bit of water. Then I'll cover it up and I'll leave it on a low flame to cook. You don't have to overcook this, I just want to soften it up so that it can be very easy to just mash it up and get rid of the skin. Also, you're going to be needing some onions, some garlic, a little bit of ginger and some green pepper. This green pepper here, I must say, is just a little spicy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend everything up. So after blending, this is what I have here, I'll just set it aside for later. Now I'll put my pan on fire and come in with some oil. I will then come in with the blended onion mixture. I'll put in some salt to taste. I'll drop in my favorite seasoning and come in with some black pepper. I'll add some chili pepper. This has been blended. It's just up to you. If you don't want it, you can do without it. So I'll give it a little mix, cover it up and let it cook on low fire for about 25 minutes. So as you can see here, my tomatoes has been cooked up very well. It is ready and I'll just get them out of the pan. Using my manual blender, I'll mash the tomatoes and this is also going to help get rid of the skin. So after mashing everything up, this is what we have here. So it's been after about 25 to 30 minutes and this is our onions over here. As you can see, it's very well cooked. So I'll just come in with the mashed tomatoes. I'll cover it up and let it cook for about 40 minutes. Don't forget we're doing this on very low fire. So it's been after about 20 minutes and I'm checking on it. As you can see, it is cooking, but it's on the watery side. So I'll allow it to cook some more. So it's been after about 40 to 45 minutes. And this is what we have here. It is ready. So I'll just put off the fire and let it cool down. I must say it's going to thicken up some more after it cools down. So I'll just get my plastic container and transfer the sauce into it. Now, if you have smaller containers, the better you can just put them inside and freeze it up. Whenever you have to prepare your soup or your stews, you are going to need this. So you basically just put this on fire and come in with your meat or your fish or whatever you want to use and you're good to go. So you don't need to go through the hassle of, you know, blending your onions and garlic and everything and preparing the traditional stew as you used to do. This is going to save you some time and money. If you have to use it for your soups, you basically have to mix it up with some water and come in with your other ingredients. So this is it guys and I hope it did help you. I hope you found this very useful. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me a big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.